Hello to all of you. This is Dr. Dawal Mehta. And let's discuss how to compute new variables using filters in Jama Await. For this, we are having one case study. A company wants to give increment of 20% for employees who are in managerial level and having an ex education of more than 8 years and having previous experience of more than 60 months. So first of all, we will have to filter the data and then we will have to transform the variable which is salary. Let's see the data first. I'll request all my viewers to kindly refer my previous videos to understand the flow of this lecture series. These data sets contain ID, gender of an employee, the birth date, education. Education is captured in such a way that if any employee has the, completed the education till 12 standard, it will be indicated as 12, first year of the college 13, second year of the college 14. Three job categories are there, clerical, custodial and managerial. This is a current salary, job time from how many months an employee is with our company, the previous experience of an employee and an employee is present in minority or not. Now let us see the case study again, how many variables are involved in this. A company wants to give increment of 20%, this, is, this means uh, here current salary will be converted, who are in managerial level, only in managerial level, having an, an education of more than 8 years and having previous experience of more than 60 months. Now, how we can do this? So, first of all, we will have to activate the filters. So, you can press here on filters. Now, I'll specify here. The first condition is employees only in managerial cadre. So, make sure that the name of the variable which you write here matches with the column name which you have given. So, this is job cat. So, job cat equal to equal to. Two times equal to means we are trying to slice the data. Now, the coding which has been done in this data set. One is clerical, two is custodial, three is managerial. Either you can specify the code that is third category, managerial. Either you can use a number or if you want to use the name, make it sure it is in single inverted commas. So I'll say managerial, single inverted commas, enter. So the first filter is activated. You can also write the condition here directly. N, education. Education, the name of the variable is, yeah, here it is, education. Should be more than eight years. I can give multiple conditions here also. But my request is that don't do this way. Include the another filter. Press plus sign. Now activate the education greater than eight. Again, press the plus sign. Previous experience. So, previous experience. Let us see. Is it correct? Yeah, it is previous experience has been written in this format only. Should be more than 60 months. Enter. You can see three filters are activated. The first filter is for managerial. Second filter is for education. Third filter is for previous experience. Press the up arrow. Now, all the rows which are highlighted, they satisfy all the three conditions. Now, what we want to do? We want to give the increment to this selected employees. How can I do it? Select the salary and press compute. Now, write down here increment. Here, I'll be using salary. 20% increment is to be given, so into 1.2, enter. You can see here, all those employees which satisfy the, all these three conditions are given the increment of 20%. Now, if you want to withdraw any one filter, it is quite easily possible. What you can do, select this, delete the filter, and you will get a different result. You can see here. 
So by removing the filter, you will get a different result. So this is a way you can compute the new variable using filters in Jamovi. For more videos on Jamovi, kindly subscribe to my channel. You can follow me on LinkedIn and Twitter. Kindly refer my playlist in which I already have uploaded many videos of Jamovi. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and press the like button.